Hi, my name is Amanda Hatger, Director of Product Management for Commerce Cloud. And today I'm here to demo for you Salesforce Order Management, a new product in the Commerce Cloud. So we're gonna start this journey on a B2C Commerce storefront. And like any shopper, I have my cart all ready for me and I'm ready to check out. Because Salesforce Order Management is natively integrated with B2C Commerce, as soon as I place this order, it will be available to me in the Salesforce Order Management Console. So let's go ahead and complete my purchase. Just add my credit card information, I'll review my order, and I'm gonna place it. Now that our order is placed, we'll take a look into Salesforce Order Management to see our order. We have a purpose-built integration that allows users in order management with direct access to orders that are placed on a B2C commerce storefront. So now we're in the Lightning platform. If you use a product like Service Cloud or Sales Cloud, this probably looks familiar to you. But now we have a new application called Salesforce Order Management. And I'm gonna go ahead and open up our order management product. We should see in our list view that order that I just placed. And here we have it, the order for Ann Cloudy. But what I want to show you here is our list view. Standard to Salesforce, we have the ability to create custom list views so that an order management user can see the health of their orders. For example, here, I can see the status of all my orders simply by clicking a button. I have a chart that makes that easy for me. I can also come in and I can edit which fields I display so I can move channel off or add billing address in and just save it. I can also easily sort by created date or accounts with clicks, not code. But what I want to do is go ahead and click into that order I just placed on Salesforce Commerce Cloud. And I want to take a look at the order summary object. The order summary is the brains of order management. It makes it possible for our users to understand everything that's happened to the order from the moment it was placed through fulfillment and payment processing. And here you can see in the order summary, I can understand that my items have been fulfilled, I know that our payment has been captured. I can see where the items were being shipped to. And I can also understand any promotions that were applied to our order. So this is really, really powerful. But let's take a closer look at the details of this order. When we created the order summary, we also created an original order record. That provides a transactional log to users to understand how the order was originally placed and how it changed over time. We also generated what's called a fulfillment order. These are all new objects built natively in the Salesforce platform, making it possible for a user to understand the full life cycle of the order. So here they can understand exactly where and how my items were fulfilled. Pretty powerful. But now that we showed you the full life cycle of the order from creation through fulfillment and into payment capture, let's take a look a little bit at that payment capture, we can also see how much was authorized and how that payment was captured. I want to show you how that all came together. And we'll be doing that by looking into Lightning Flow. So anyone who's used the Salesforce platform before, you might be familiar with the Flow Builder. This is how we orchestrated that fulfillment process that I just showed you. The moment that order came in, this Flow Builder kicked off. And what it did is it grabbed all the information about the order, it passed it in so we could create a fulfillment order record, and then sent that off to the warehouse to be fulfilled. As soon as our items were fulfilled, we also kicked off a second Flow. What this flow was doing, it was updating the fulfillment status, creating a shipment record so our customers can track their shipments, and then we also generated an invoice and captured the payments, payment all seamlessly in this workflow. Pretty powerful. Now that we've seen the whole life cycle of the order, I want to show you how Salesforce order management is natively integrated in the service console experience. And I'm going to do that by going back to our Northern Trail Outfitters website. And from this website, we are going to start a chat with a service agent. So imagine a few days have gone by, and I want to return those items that I just purchased. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and fill out my chat information. And I need a return, so I need help with my return process. We'll start this chat. And I'm up next. All right, so our bot just greeted us. This bot is the service agent, and it's asking me what I need help with, and I'm gonna say recent orders. And here the bot's returning to me all the orders that I placed on the NTO website. It's doing that by calling into Salesforce order management to grab the real-time view of my order data. And I need help with that order that I just placed. So I'm gonna click on that order. Now the bot's gonna ask me what I need to do. And because I wanna return my items, I'm gonna ask to be trans transferred over to an agent. So we'll click this, and now we're gonna come into our service console experience. And 
we're going to accept that chat. So now we're in the service console. So we are the service agent. Here the agent can see the full transcript of that communication that I had with the bot. So they can easily see that I was looking to get more information about my order. Here they can ask me, how can I help you? And they can also see information about my case and my account. The moment I engaged with that bot on the storefront, we automatically created a case and we automatically assigned the order details to that case. So that the service agent in a single console has information about my chat, my account, my case, and my order. Directly from this view, the service agent can also process a return on my behalf. So that same view of the order summary we were showing during the fulfillment process, the agent also has access to. So they can also see my items have been fulfilled, they know how they were paid for, but most importantly, in this single screen, they're able to process the return on my behalf. So we're gonna kick off this return process. Here the agent can select what items need to be returned. So I'm gonna return uh, that jacket that I purchased. They can also provide a reason code, which is all customizable and configurable. And then they can preview how my order is gonna change. So they can communicate to the shopper that we're gonna refund $100.80. Now they go ahead and they submit that change. And what's gonna happen in the background is we are gonna create a change order record. We're gonna update the order summary. We're gonna indicate those items have been returned. And we are gonna process that refund for $100, all in that single action. And we're able to do this also using the power of Lightning Flow. Similar to our fulfillment process, we have a flow that's completely customizable and configurable that powers this experience. And we've also built all of these things API first. So if you want to integrate that returns process with your point of sale or your storefront, it's easy because these APIs are all available to you. I hope you saw the power of Salesforce order management connecting B2C commerce and how we were able to use the declarative workflow builder to power the fulfillment experience. Thank you.